Now, today I'm going to discuss a not so obvious problem to a very obvious problem. So what the heck does that mean, right? Now, the obvious problem is smoking. And I think everybody knows by now just how bad smoking is for you. And most people associate smoking to lung cancer or lung disease. However, most people don't realize that cigarette smoking causes one in every five deaths in the U.S. And that's 20% of all deaths. In fact, it's the main preventable cause of death and illness in the United States. And this is because smoking harms nearly every organ in your body, including your heart, your blood vessels, your lungs, eyes, mouths, reproductive organs, bones, bladder, and even your digestive organs. Now, the not so obvious problem with smoking is that it causes major damage to your blood vessels and circulation. Now, the chemicals in tobacco smoke harm your blood vessels, and they also can damage the function of your heart and the structure and function of your blood vessels. Now, this damage increases your risk of atherosclerosis, which is a disease that causes plaque buildup in your arteries. Now, over time, the plaque hardens and narrows your arteries. Now, this limits the flow of oxygen and nutrient-rich blood to your organs and other parts of your body. Now, not only is this bad for your heart, which dramatically increases your risk for a heart attack or stroke, it's also one of the leading causes of aging for your body, your skin, your organs, and even your brain. Now, any amount of smoking, even light smoking or occasional smoking, damages your heart and blood vessels. And for some people, such as women who use birth control pills and people who have diabetes or high blood sugar, smoking poses an even greater risk to the heart and blood vessels. And secondhand smoke has all the same problems as regular smoking, but it's just not as concentrated. Basically, secondhand smoke is a smoke that comes from the burning end of a cigarette, cigar, or pipe. It also refers to smoke that's breathed out by a person who is smoking. Now, my point with today's short video is to remind you that smoking is bad for you, obviously. However, lung cancer is the least of your problems when it comes to smoking. A much bigger problem is the decrease in your blood flow and circulation, which affects every organ and cell in your body. Now, if you're over the age of 35, if you have uh, high blood sugar or high blood pressure, if you're overweight, if you live a high stress life, if you don't exercise daily, if you don't eat healthy and so on and so forth, then smoking dramatically further increases your risk for a heart attack or stroke. If nothing else, and you only care about your looks and vanity, smoking really ages you, both internally as well as externally. So at this point, you really need to make a decision and commit that you're going to stop smoking permanently, if not for yourself, than for your family, friends, and loved ones. Because remember, secondhand smoke can be almost as bad. Now, in the meantime, if you want to naturally increase your blood flow and circulation and help fix this problem, whether the cause is from smoking or just simple aging, then make sure you click the link below to access a bonus video about this topic. I guarantee it'll make a dramatic improvement in how you look and feel while also helping avoid a heart attack or stroke. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. Now, if you liked it, please subscribe to this channel because I've got some really cool exclusive videos coming out soon. And if you found it helpful, please share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and leave your comments or questions below. And most importantly, do yourself a big favor and make sure you visit the link in the description area below uh, about the bonus video on how I improve my dad's blood flow in less than 30 days naturally and how you can copy the same proven formula. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.